There we go. Hey, thanks for joining us this morning. Um, we I want to introduce you to two awesome guys who are just crushing it in Auburn right now. And uh, this is Evan Crawford <laughs> and Matt Willis. Hey, so, hey. <laughs> they oh, are a top team in Auburn right now, and uh, they are just doing such a great job with their marketing. Very creative, and I wanted to share them and their special gifts and talents with you because they know how to build a really big business and have a blast doing it. So I, I just want to thank y'all for taking your time. You're so busy. Um, they were just have they have 37 uh, new homes under contract, y'all, in just one of their neighborhoods. <laughs> so just that they have the time to spend uh, sharing with you today is amazing, and I'm grateful to have y'all here. Thank you for having us. Yeah, we always love so talking to you. So um, you're just a wealth of information. You have a lot of lead sources right now. Um, but uh, whenever you decided to add a uh, creative video, I mean, it's just one of the things that I, I mean, I look forward to seeing your videos every time you release one and I will watch them over and over and over and just laugh. <laughs> <laughs> so it was so much fun. That's our aim. So we appreciate you uh, falling into our trap and laughing at our <laughs> dumb jokes. So. <laughs> I, love I love it. It brings such joy. And you know what? With everything that we've had going on with COVID, um, I am sure you get so many comments like, thanks for the laughs. I needed the laughs. Um, and uh, so let's see. Okay, somebody was, um, I think Zach must have posted, um, check out Matt and Evan on Facebook. Oh. Um, and uh, with hey, your, Zach. <laughs> thank you, Zach, for helping me <laughs> out. <laughs> yeah, you can, you can just go to our Facebook and, and click the videos and, and they're all there and kind of just scroll through. There's some good ones. Oh my gosh, there are so many good ones. So what made you think, um, like, all right, we've got all these lead sources coming in. Now we're going to add creative video. Um, I think, the, I think, when we first started doing it, it was kind of, um, you know, obviously a way to, to have a little fun with real estate because, you know, as, as you know, real estate can sometimes get very uh, grind uh, down to the grind, I guess you could say. And so we were we were both kind of looking for some relief, like, you know, we got to have fun with this thing. Um, if, if we're going to have some longevity in this business, um, we got to we got to have fun with it. And that's that's kind of, you know, obviously that's that's in our top three rules is, is have fun in there somewhere. So um, I think I think we want to our main goal was just for people to see us as people rather than, you know, their real estate agent. We want, we don't want them to understand that we're just, you know, humans and have a family and, and like to have fun. And, and, you know, we try to keep them, obviously we try to keep them on most of our videos either related to real estate or, you know, educational sometimes uh, if we can. And um, just because, you know, there's, there's definitely a certain line of, of silliness that you can get to where it's like, all right, well, that doesn't, that doesn't even, hit that doesn't make any sense yeah so. <laughs> yeah it's just i mean yeah we just wanted to humanize you know what you know what we are you know so they're just not like oh you know real estate agents you know it's it's, it's you know you know we're, we're people too and uh we like poke fun of each other i think uh, evan likes to live those uh glory days in the uh, baseball locker room where <laughs> he gives the um, give a lot of people craps. He likes to give me craps. So uh, he, he comes along and says, hey, I got another video for you. I'm like, oh, That's just his personality. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's just pushing you outside of your comfort zone. That's right. He, he definitely does. That's right. It's, it's all fun. No, I love that. When I look at your videos, I'm like, I want to hang out with those dudes. <laughs> that's, so, what we want, that's what we want future clients to think too, you know? Right. Hey, that's exactly what I'm <laughs> hoping that sellers are, are doing too. So tell me like um, of all the ones that you've done and, and y'all, you do have to go and take a look at these. He's got one that's like a friend's parody. Um, uh, one that's hilarious about EXP world. If you're an EXP agent, you would understand it. Um, uh, uh, you've got one that's making fun of HGTV. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> that I love. I love it. So um, of all the ones that you've done, um, what has been your most popular one? Do you know, like, have you gone back to see the views yet? Yeah, I think, I think the one that was the, the 80s rap. I the think that 80s was probably, rap video uh, was pretty good. The, the buyer's <laughs> the 80s rap. I think that was, uh, it had quite a few, you know, a couple hundred, maybe thousand shares and things like that on social media. And um, I so I think that was probably our most, but probably because it was the most ridiculous one. Um, 
but also again it was it was fairly uh educational you know it was kind of but we wanted to we wanted to have fun with the process of the entire going through a buyer you know a buyer starting from day one looking at us and getting to the closing table and we wanted to basically explain that in a fun manner and so uh what better way than an 80s rap to explain things i mean it's kind of how i like to educate myself what better way <laughs> <laughs> that's what i always say <laughs> um, so it was fun and, and you know chris i think kristen had just started with us like oh gosh the day she was before. a deer in headlights <laughs> yeah. i mean it was the day before she was like, a, what have i got myself into? i was like hey bring some scrunchies bring all the 80s stuff you're gonna have like she's like what do i need for work tomorrow and we're like just these a things. lot of hairspray <laughs> yeah hairspray. she's like uh thought this was real estate so yeah, it was it was cool to kind of uh, get her, you know, uh, part of the crew very quickly and and to understand what we're all about. And um, so I think that one was probably my favorite uh, and I got to wear a mullet, which was. I mean, so. anytime you can wear a mullet, anytime Jay gets to wear a mullet, like <laughs> he's like, oh yeah. 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 <laughs> of course, now they're coming back. So. <laughs> That's, I saw that. Interesting. <laughs> Like to regrow yours? Huh? Yeah. I, I'm not I haven't really had a mullet. I had a very time. serious mullet for a while. <laughs> And it was, well, that was before that was before it was cool again. It was right in between. I went in between. Well, I mean, you have to look at the baseball. They usually start the trends, right? The baseball yeah. start the hair yeah. trends. So yeah. there's a lot of yeah. mullets on the field right now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Lord. So Kristen adapted well. I mean, she probably was scared to death that first day, but oh my gosh, she has done yes. so well. We're super proud yes, of her. And yes, she is. She is a rock star and she, you know, she teaches us stuff every day. So um, we're, we're super excited to have her and she, I mean, can't ask for a better real estate agent, to be honest with you. Yeah, she's a grinder. She, she gets after it for sure. Well, and uh, she found her place in the videos too. So <laughs> yeah. she, she she kills it. She's a she's a she's a one shot. I mean, we don't we don't need uh you know take two with her. She she crushes it right away. And then we got we got Ryan Molt who did he was with our listing spoof one, and he's only reason we need two takes with him is because he's too funny and makes everybody laugh while we're in the <laughs> middle of uh, shooting. So it's it's not on him. It's on us that we always need in second shot. So um, he's, well, you can use those outtakes for something else. That's right. That's right. right. So it's it, it's you know it they all fit perfectly with, with uh, what we got going on. And, and that, that means a lot. And again, you can, you can see them, their personalities in the videos. And that's, what's important to us is, is to have a little fun, let people see our personalities and, and uh, know what to expect. I mean, you know, when you see a video, you see, you might see a Zillow review or you might see a, a Google review or something of somebody, but you don't really know what to expect of that person. You don't really know who you're meeting, but when you watch them on video, you kind of feel a little familiar with that person already. You're like, oh, I've seen yeah. you in videos. I kind of feel familiar with you already. So it's almost like building rapport with your client before you've ever met them. I mean, it's, it's definitely branding and it's a fun way to do it. I mean, it, you know, it's, it's getting the Crawford Willis group out there and, and it's just, I mean, it's, it's fun. Who doesn't like make fun of each other? Yeah. I do. <laughs> well, it is fun. And you know, if you have other types of marketing that are branding like billboards or magazines, like even print, um, yeah. even some digital stuff like Facebook ads, a lot of that can make you seem so serious and maybe haughty sometimes, or, right. you know, and uh, maybe unapproachable. Right. Um, this is like, oh my God, I got to hang out with them. I mean, we're going to have so much fun seeing houses, <laughs> you know, um, uh, what are they going to do with my house if I list my house with them? So um, I, I love it. So what, what um, of all of the shares that you've gotten, tell me, you know, um, maybe some of the feedback you've gotten and what kind of leads at all have you gotten yet? Well, I mean, yeah, the feedback's been great. I mean, everybody will, you know, shoot you a text or call you or like, oh, we love the videos or y'all are the video real estate agent guys and, and, and things like that. Yeah, we've, um, been, we've been golfing like in like chamber tournaments and stuff. And people yeah. are like, oh, yeah, those guys do the videos, the real estate videos. And we're like, oh, yeah, it's us. So, <laughs> give us a call. Uh, so, so the, the branding is good. I mean, the branding is, is getting getting the name out there. And that's, you know, that's what we want. Um, and, yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, hundreds of shape. I mean, yeah, that's getting it out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it, it, it helps too. Cause you know, when someone does reach out to you, um, you know, for business, I mean, they feel like they already know you a little bit because you know, they've, they watch the videos and, and uh, you know, it personalizes it. And, and so it, it's a little easier to communicate with that person because they feel like they know you. And obviously everybody now, whenever you, 
I mean, anything, any product you buy, anything you're going to use, you always Google them first. You always go to their Instagram first to, to find out who they are. And so a lot of our Instagram is, is videos and, and fun videos. And again, we try to keep them educational at least or bring some type of value. And maybe the value is just to laugh a little bit, but it's, I think that's it's, great value. it's bringing value. Right. That's I mean, that's our job as real estate agents is to always bring value to your clients. And, um, you know, whatever that value is, we want to we want to bring it. So whether it be educational or just a, a good laugh for a for a uh, Monday grind, then we can we can do that. So that's that's kind of our mission. So um, video is the best way to build a one sided relationship. Yes. And uh, so if you are pressed for time, then uh, it's it's really the, the best way to do it. So I'm a huge fan of video. It's um, always been in my marketing plan. Um, gosh, I've done so many of them. Uh, Drew just said, these guys are so much fun. Yes, they are, Drew. Oh, so Drew, we like Drew. <laughs> Drew's, probably out, Drew's probably out fishing right now. It's a pretty day. I'm looking outside. I'm, uh, he's, on, he's on Lake Martin selling houses and fishing in the meantime. So uh, That's right. <laughs> and Mickey Berry's here, and he gave you a thumbs up, too. So. Hey, Mickey. Mickey is hilarious. You would love this. And Carol's here. She said, sing a little for us, Jenny. Oh, oh can you sing? <laughs> there you go. It's not necessarily that I can sing, but she's laughing just because I did the um, the stupid video myself about um, I will always love you. But oh, yeah, I saw that one. That's right. It's bad. It was bad. But, <laughs> but my sisters, oh, my God, how much fun were they that they came and did it with me? I mean, right. And I mean, she, my seller sang it. <laughs> like, I rewrote the words and uh, it's just fun, just being right. silly and fun. So, um, and again, probably not getting the shares that y'all have gotten because it just wasn't as funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, probably a little more talent involved than what we got going on. Uh, well, with my seller, she was so good. I mean, yeah. <laughs> but um, so, I think how we need to do a lip sync uh, competition. Okay, there, there we go. And Carol, you can actually participate in that with us. Yes, so, you <laughs> so who comes up with the ideas? Like, do you have a schedule every week that you do these? You know, tell me about, you know, the process. Yeah, well, I, I don't know how he does it, but uh, Evan, Evan comes up with a lot of the content. Um, I, I don't know if he sits around on, on YouTube at night or, or what have you, or he's, it's just that creative mind he's got. But uh yeah, Evan comes Freedom's up. a nice way to say it. That's a, that's a good way to say it. <laughs> it. Evan comes up with a lot of the content, and then you know, of course, there's some videos that I kind of want to start doing again. Um, just kind of like a quick real estate quick tip. You know, it, you know, we're just trying to you know put put some content out there um, so people can understand our world in real estate. And so we just you know we were doing a little video, just a little clip of, of a quick tip, and and put it out there. And I think that's something we probably need to. Start yeah, doing again. I know Evan's got going on right now. The ABCs of real estate, which is pretty fun. Um, okay. So you know, every every letter of the alphabet, you know, comes up with something. So a little less professional, but it's it's fun. <laughs> it's uh, it's not quite as polished as some of the videos we've had in the past. We had we had Mac Media um, do our do our videos. They do they they're the ones that kind of make the the one the videos that look so polished, not the uh, the ones that we do on our iPhone. Um, but they and they do an amazing job of all the you know editing and everything because a lot of times we'll, we'll video something and we're like man that sucks you know, it's not good. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and, then, and then we get it back and they, they did a pretty good you know they did a good job on it and it looks great and so um so that, that's that's also important you know if you got somebody uh a good videographer and, and a uh, somebody that's very creative that, with the editing and things like that so that's that's important to be on the same page with the people that you're working with um so that's kind of that's a little piece of, of, you know, the actual professional videos we've done is, is having somebody that knows what they're doing. I do think though that having incorporating um, the polish, very professional, cause it's still fun. Right. You know, it's not stuffy. Right. Um, mine tend to be stuffy when they're polished <laughs> just because I'm so serious. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You gotta know this stuff. <laughs> and all. My, mine would be the same if it were just me doing it. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of helps me. Make it not so stuffy. So yeah, sometimes I'll yeah. come in and be like, "Hey, I got this idea for a video." And Matt's like, "Oh, no, I love that." Okay, so I have a brain that works like that. Okay, so <laughs> constantly like, "Oh yeah, I got twenty ideas today." Yeah. 
Okay. And so, yeah, I overwhelm everyone. So I can understand you going <laughs> to Matt and him going, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I've even, I've even like uh, written them down on a document at times and, and we'll share them. And if I come up with something, I'll kind of write it down and he'll text me and, you know, see it come up on a document or something. He'll text me and be like, what are you talking about? What, is, what do you mean? <laughs> like, you know, what do you mean by uh, get a stop sign, a rubber band and a paper clip and bring your overalls? You know, he's like, what, what are you doing? And so, what, what are just, we doing? It just, uh, you know, it, it's fun though. So, do you have a set schedule that you do? Like, you've got your whole list of topics and your ideas. And then, um, like, do you meet every, like, I do um, videos every Wednesday at three. Right. We, we do have a schedule. Do, do we stick to it that well? Probably not. Um, you know, we, we try to, we had, uh, we had certain days with, with alliteration that made it easier for us. Mm -hmm. uh, like, uh, I don't even remember what they were, but we had a certain thing for each day and we've kind of, you know, obviously things get busy in real estate. You start to, to get pulled in a lot of different directions. So, um, and especially when you have 37 homes under contract and when right. they, you're a little I mean, bit, yeah, I mean, at least once a month we want to create, you know, several good, pieces of a con content right. so we can span that over, you know, and during the um, week, we months. try to do, I, I try to do at least one of the ABCs once one day a week, um, you know, kind of as, as the, as a, as a anchor for the week, we do one of the letters. Um, so there, there is a, there is a little bit of a method to the madness, but at the same time, we've kind of, we've kind of fallen off our schedule a little bit, but um, we, we try to do about two to three professional videos a month. And then the rest of them are, uh, we just kind of do on our cell phones. Quick system. content. Yeah. yeah. Quick, quick jabs. Yeah. Again, I think that having that, um, I think people relate to the iPhone stuff. So I don't think that's a bad thing. Right. That, um, having both of those um, uh, incorporated into your business. So if you're watching and you're trying to think of how to put videos um, in your business, you know, start with that list, like Evan's saying, start with that list of um, topics or, you know, you can actually uh, take a whole day and say, all right, what questions did my clients ask today? Mm -hmm. You know, but you know, if you if you want to start with just regular video of being helpful, then yeah. you're comfortable. You can start getting into um, Matt may not <laughs> <laughs> been comfortable at all yet. But <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's, I'm, go ahead. Well, I was going to say, you know, your, and, your, your video. Go ahead. <laughs> and just just put it out there too. Um, you know, don't don't be scared. Don't worry about it being polished. Um, you know, just shoot the video and send it out because I mean that that you know, humanizes you, um, you know, it, it doesn't make it feel stuffy um, and, and personalizes it a little bit, you know, just like, oh, they mess up too. Uh, you know, just kind of, you know, shoot the video and, and put it out. Don't think twice, just, just do it. And we do have, obviously we have some, some guidelines. Uh, you know, we, we, he has three kids, I have three kids. So, you know, we want to make sure our kids can watch the video anytime. It's, it's, it's gotta be in good taste. Um, uh, you know, we, we stay away from anything that would get us in trouble as far as that goes. We just try to, we, we try to keep it pertaining to real estate for the most part. Um, so, you know, cause I, I think you want it to always somehow, and, and it can be ridiculous, but it, it, it's going it to be pull tasteful, back to real estate. Yeah. Right. So I think that's important, um, to, to be tasteful because you want your, your, your selling houses to families and to, um, you know, everyone. So you want, you want, you want to, and, and that's why we, we've actually had videos with our kids. Our kids are in start in a couple of our videos because, um, you know, it's just relatable for a lot of people that have families that are looking at a house that may have a tree house in the backyard. Cause that was one of the videos we had was the kids really were picking out the tree house. And so, um, you know, and, and that's, that's very, very relatable, I think to, to families that are searching for a house. And that's what we're all, we're trying to relate to our clients and, and, uh, let them see that, you know, we, we live a very similar life. Well, and everybody see, yeah. wants to see kids in, in videos, you know. Right. <laughs> They're way cuter than us, too. So, oh, for sure. Yeah. It's sell houses, for sure. <laughs> um, I see Brian Booth. He had a comment. Any tips on getting comfortable on camera? Uh, Brian, I'm never comfortable on the camera. I, I'm, like, dying right now. Um, <laughs> so, so just do it. Just get out there and do it. And if you, you know, if you look stupid you look stupid but people laugh and it's all in fun so uh you know don't don't take it so serious sometimes i think maybe sometimes i've i've uh i've, I've kind of jumped up on him with a camera um <laughs> and said matt ask his question and he's got to answer real quick so that's good practice. yeah i've ambushed him a couple times on videos so you know maybe that's helped him a little bit um i don't know i've 
I've never really cared that much uh, about it or looking like an idiot. So I'm pretty used to it. So I don't really mind it at all. But, you know, I would say just continue to try. And and I mean, our, our other agents are the same way that a lot of them don't really care for it, uh, even though I, th I saw Kristen right here said. I know, that's what I was going to say. Impact, Kristen. Videos, so. <laughs> um, so most of it, you know, and if it takes 15 shots or 20 shots to, to feel like you did it right, you just got like 15, 20 practices right before it. So uh, just, you know, get in front of the camera and, and try it out and, and shoot it out there. Well, and Brian, uh, let me just say this. Um, people like when you stutter on your words. They find you for real when you do that. So um, I like it, a lot. Yeah, that's a very likable person then. <laughs> well, it is true. Like one of um, one of the videos that I did years ago that grew that grew this page to almost eleven thousand followers is no makeup on. My hair was a mess. I had my glasses on and I had like my off white frump. Jay's driving and I'm like, y'all, I've been doing this research for a couple of days and I can't wait to share it with you. And, and Jay's in there going. <laughs> <laughs> driving and people just come to the page because of that video. They love it. Um, so it's kind of the raw part of it. Now, I love yeah professional stuff too. So yeah. Yeah. And I think it's a mixture and it's, yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's a mixture and it's the comfortability factor of just getting it in there and, and doing it. And um, it doesn't have to be, I mean, it, it, our, our, our stick is, is kind of goofy and funny. It doesn't have to be. I've seen some great videos that are, you know, fairly professional or, or a lot of great little short snippets kind of like we've done in the past where it's just, you know, what's a home inspection. Here's a quick tip on a home inspection. A home Ooh, inspection. Brian, that's perfect for you. He's a home inspector. And well, there, you go. <laughs> there you go. You know, and like for Brian as a home inspector, like, you know, Hey, here's, here's, you know, what not to do with your HVAC system or here's what not to do with whatever. There's, there's so many things that, that just a lot of quick little tip list that, and I think those actually usually get the most views because other than our super long, ridiculous eighties rap, um, those probably get the most views because it's it's quick and easy for somebody that's scrolling to just check it out really quick. They see there's 15 seconds, 20 seconds, whatever. They're like, oh yeah, I can I can last looking at these guys for 20 seconds. Um, right. Anything longer, you know, sometimes you just get they'll they'll swipe right by it. But again, I think informational is important. There's we we forget being in this industry and 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 Brian being in that industry that that the, the general public doesn't know a lot of things like what earnest money is what. You know, what a home inspection is, what an appraisal, when an appraisal happens, th those kind of things that people don't realize. And if they watch your videos and you actually gave them that information, then they're going to call you whenever they, they need that, that professional help. They're going to say, well, they, they, they already kind of taught me a little bit. I'm going to go talk to them. So that's why, you know, we always do try to bring some value in, in the, in the videos. Well, I think video um, is a lot stronger on impressions than, you know, a, a postcard or, or yes. a mailer or something like that. I mean, they, they remember that and then they tell people about it because if they got great information from it or it was funny, they're going to spread it and they're going to share it. I mean, it's so easy to share things, you know, with cell phones. I mean, and, and so it's going to get out to the masses a lot quicker than individual postcard on an individual person. Um, and it's going to leave a lasting impression. But not to say we don't do that too. We, no, we, we I mean, mix we it all up. We try to write handwritten letters to people as well. Um, you know, we even though we're super technologically advanced with videos, we are also old school and do write, write handwritten letters. So, it, takes uh, it takes all aspects of it. And so it you does. have lots of other lead sources that you're using. And I feel like this one is just one that um, helps all of those other lead sources. Right. So, right. um, one of the things too, one of the reasons you want to use video is, um, especially on YouTube, it helps you in rankings. So like your keywords and um, uh, it, then when people watch it and are, you know, excited about it and share it, then all of that's going to help your algorithms. All of that's going to help your searches on right. Google. So um, it's just another way that you can actually do that pretty quick. Cause when you just whip out your phone and like do like a, a tip of something and have it out there and you have all the right stuff behind it, then that's going to keep pushing you up. Right. Um, yeah. Search engines. I, I think, and we just recently kind of, you know, found that out. Evan took a course, you know, on, on 
SEO and, and um, you know, getting higher rankings in Google and, and things like that. And I, I didn't have any idea. I don't think he had, you know, an idea of what all is involved and, and you know, him taking that course has really helped us, um, you know, implement what we need to do to, to, you know, put our, our company up, you know, up there at the top with, with Google searches, you know, when, when some of Google's real estate, you know, Auburn, Opelika and things like that. And videos are a huge part of that because the, through that you can, obviously you can put like on your Google business page, you can post, pictures and videos, um, you know, all that stuff and videos are, are pretty high in that algorithm that promotes you to be on the, you know, that first page of Google is where you want to be. When somebody types in real estate, your city, you want to be in the, you know, on that first page because that's where your business is coming from people visiting your website. So having those videos on Google definitely, definitely drives that. And then, I mean, having them, I think it's what's the, the real estate term is like spoken wheel or something like that. You got your, you know, you got your hub and then you got your spokes and it's kind of all these different areas are driving you back to your hub, which is your website. And so, you know, you put the videos on YouTube and you got your website down there attached. People can click on it, go straight from your video to your website. Same thing with Instagram, Facebook, obviously goes back to your website, Google, uh, you know, the, the SEO stuff, the algorithm brings it back. So all the, all the ways you get it out, you can never, you can never forget to, attach your website to it, your, your, where your bread and butter, where your leads are coming into. Um, so, you know, always have it coming back to you somehow where you can track it and you can make sure that, you know, they're they're just because, just because they saw it. I mean, it's obviously going to help because it's going to brand a little bit and people are going to talk about it, but it's even more important for that video to lead them back to your website. So you can obviously get, get, capture that lead. Right. We've got um, a landing page called sell it the first time, which seems ridiculous in this market, but there are still people overpricing their houses in this market. There are still houses that are expiring. There are still houses that are not selling in this market. And so we do have sell it the first time where we've got a lot of our videos there and driving a lot of that traffic to that. So they can, you know, get to know every, you know, part of the team. And uh, uh, it, I think it really does help a lot. So I want to touch on one thing, too, that Brian said. And uh, Sabrina, I know you're doing a lot more videos, girl. I've been watching them. Um, so What's Sabrina? <laughs> being scared on video is a real thing. And um, in fact, um, it is one of the scariest things uh, in on the human emotion scale. Hmm. And so I actually do um, understand where you're coming from, Brian, because um, I did a marketing workshop years ago and getting people used to video and people just would cry their eyes out because they were terrified of um, being on camera. So it is a real thing. So you do have to get comfortable. And this is what the only way I feel like you can get comfortable is by doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it. Even if you don't post it, just do it. And here, another tip, Brian, is don't rewatch them. I am very funny about I will not rewatch any of my trainings or videos. And you think like, oh, no, you need to watch them so you can get better. No, I'll get better by just doing it and knowing what hot buttons to push and what to bring out of people. But um, I don't rewatch them because then I won't do another one. Right. I, I would cringe. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as the video is done, I hear Evan behind me watching the video. I'm like, how can you watch it? Like, I can't, I don't want to watch it. I don't watch it. I'm I don't want to hear I'm like, Ooh, look at me. Look at me. Look how good I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the same way. I'm like, oh my God, do you have to cackle 20 times? Like, <laughs> I just, I can't stand it. So, um, yeah, I just, no, I just keep passing it up. We'll not rewatch it. I would, you know, to that point again, I guess I would relate it to the phone call thing. A lot of people it, getting into real estate and making phone calls, uh, you know, whether it be forced out by owners or expires or whatever it's not comfortable. No, but I don't think I, I didn't enjoy that when I started that. So I don't think anybody really loves to make that phone call and, and, and um, you know, try to try to gain a new client, but it's obviously very important. And it's something that you're going to have to learn to do if you want to be in real estate um, to have those conversations, those, those sometimes awkward conversations. Um, and, you know, one way that we used to do that uh, when we first started teaming up together, um, I would just call him like randomly and he'd pick up and I'd be like, 
you know, hey, I'm thinking about selling my house. Uh, what, what, you know, what, what, what kind of what, what kind of proposition can you give me? You know, what, what's your unique selling proposition? And he, I would make basically he would go on a, you know, a listing appointment via phone and I would give him objections and stunt, you know, there was times where he stumbled over them. There was times where, and it was just the practice of doing that over and over. And then, you know, he would call me and as a buyer, cause I worked with our buyers, he worked with all our sellers. So he would call me and kind of do the same as a buyer that's juggling different real estate agents right now. I can't decide who to work with. And, and he would throw me curveballs, and, and we would just try to get comfortable obviously with each other having that conversation and overcoming those objections and things. And, and I think that, I think that helped us get more comfortable with doing it. So it's the same thing, like you said, with the videos, you just gotta do it, do it, do it over and over and over practice, practice, practice. And then eventually, you know, you may not be great at it, but you're going to be more comfortable doing it. <laughs> so, um, yeah. and that's important. So, um, I love the phone calls though. So I've been in lots of classes where um, husband and wife teams will do that to each other. You know, they're at the grocery store and they have to answer. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> Overcome all those objections. It um, does. It, it helps you get comfortable. I mean, because once you've heard them, you know, it, it, once you've heard them before, you, you know what you want to say, you know how you want to react and you know um, what not to say, which is probably more important. So, um, you know, I, I, I Practice obviously is is very very important, and the same with same with videos. Uh, yeah, so see as, as a business coach for 11, 12 years, you know, I used to uh, listen while people were making their calls, and yeah, it does the same thing. It makes you cringe, <laughs> especially when they go say stuff like, um, and it's so easy. It's just easy. It's just normal conversation, but uh, it is important to know what not to say because I heard over and over going, well, what made you come up with that price? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, uh, they, they will never talk to you again. <laughs> uh, I see, I see Brian said, so make a hundred bad videos to make a good one. Yeah, we probably made 150 bad videos and bad is in the eye of the beholder. I don't know. We've probably made some that people think like that's absolutely ridiculous, but we've had fun with them. And I think that shows regardless of how good the content mm -hmm. is, maybe it's, it shows that you're willing to have fun, willing to put yourself out there. And uh, so, you know, and I don't know what constitutes a bad video. Yeah. I mean, it's probably Brian, it's probably going to work, look worse to you than it really is to the public. So, I mean, don't, don't feel that it's, it's a bad video. I mean, if you want to do a, a, you know, two or three takes, until you feel, you know, you get the best one. Once you find that one, just send it. I mean, just send it out. Uh, don't think twice about sending it out um, because I, I promise it, it probably isn't as bad as, as you're going to critique yourself. So. And surely you have, you know, uh, some type of mentor or a close friend that won't judge you too horribly bad that you can just send it to and be like, hey, what do you think about this? Should I put this out on social media? If they go, yeah, man, it looks good. Shoot it out there and check it out. And if not, then be like, all right, maybe I should try to take six. <laughs> So, okay. I've got a question. Uh, how much does this cost? Um, so we had, so we had Mac media on a retainer. Um, and, uh, and so we were paying them monthly and they did videos where we did three, was it three videos a month, three Something shoots, like yeah, three, three shoots, shoots a month. Out. And then they did our photography drone videos, Matterport for our listings. Yeah. Um, we, yeah. we recently, um, have, have changed that structure um, where, so they're not on a retainer anymore. They got, so when we, they're friends of ours and they had just started this. They were past this, clients of ours actually this, too. Yeah. This video company. And, and so, you know, having, you know, we, we worked out the retainer thing with them just because they were just getting started opening up their business and it just worked out for the both of us. And then they got, you know, super busy. Um, I think we, we made them super busy because, our videos were that great. <laughs> and, and so other people wanted to use them. But, uh, but anyways, no. So recently we, we've kind of changed that structure and it's, it's more so kind of as needed basis. Uh, and so like we did one Thursday night, we had a, uh, this past Thursday night, we had a client event um, where we went to the bowling alley and everything and they came and, and filmed that and, <clears throat> you know, just got, just got great responses from our clients that were laughing with each other and we're bowling and the kids were bowling and kids playing video games. And they got some really good footage of that, which, you know, that's, 
even if it's not for social media, it's it's personally for us. It's awesome to see. We, yeah. we can watch that over and over it's because great seeing, seeing smiles on your client's faces. What's Absolutely. that? I said it's great for social media because you're you're taking that real life event, you're pouring back in, showing appreciation for your clients. You probably got some really good testimonials yeah. um, from people just volunteering them with the camera being there. Um, and people yeah. actually. So here's the deal, Brian and Jamaica. You're so right. We are our worst critics. Um, you'll be surprised how many of your clients are total hams. They want to yes. be in your stuff. They want to yes. be, you know, in your pictures. They, they're like, wait a minute, you didn't take a picture. Wait a minute, you didn't get a video. <laughs> so, um, we may not be interested in doing videos, but our clients are like 100% on board. So now some yes. of them are going to say no to right. uh, pictures or videos. Um, and you just respect that and move on. But um, no, I think that bowling alley footage is awesome awesome yeah good to see them all talking you know clients that didn't know each other before and now that maybe they're new to town and they you know didn't really know anybody and they got to come there and they had something in common that they worked with us and they have a conversation about you know kids are starting t-ball whatever and then now all of a sudden they're friends and so being able to watch that on video transpire and and looking back at it and they're laughing with each other and having fun with their kids that's that's pretty valuable to us just on you know, the, the, it's a grind sometimes and working with with, uh, you know, tons of clients. And so sometimes just being able to reflect back on that and look at it and be like, oh, that's cool. That's cool. That yeah. they, you know, Seeing all them have a good time, have a good time. And so that's pretty valuable to us regardless. No, that is for sure. So um, I've got a schedule every Wednesday at three and I am interviewing a business. Um, I've got a group called Life Along 280 in Chelsea. And um, so that's kind of the title I named this uh, Facebook show. And uh, so it costs me between 650 to 1200 a month to, to do that. And um, it is a long tail. It's a, it's a very long tail. I'm, I'm doing something to promote um, our community and I really want to be seen as a resource um, for our community. So sometimes I do get super serious in there because I'm like finding out about everything. Yeah. Yeah. We've done those in the past. We did those, you know, we did a lot of uh, zoom stuff during the during the shutdown with yeah. some business owners around here just kind of trying to help them get the word out of what they were still able to do you know mm -hmm. whether it be take out whether it be you know franklin tire with oil changes and just what kind of precautions they were taking during the shutdown and things like that just to again like you said try to be a resource to you know the community and and you, you kind of are as a real estate agent you, you really need to be an ambassador of your community um, absolutely. because you're you're kind of on the front line of somebody moving into town so absolutely uh, i think that's very important right and so another reason that you want to do that too is whenever you tag that business promoting them you get into their audience and so now you're seen as an expert in their audience as well where that could have been an untapped audience for you, you know, new people coming in that you get introduced to that may have never heard you. So then whenever they get a postcard from you or they see a sign uh, for sale sign from you, then they're like, Oh yeah. Okay. I'm starting to notice that they may not remember where or when, but it all comes together. So um, I'm sharing that to give you ideas of what kind of videos to do. Um, Brenda, who's, <laughs> It looks good. It looks look really bald. good. Do I look bald right here? No. I feel like I look a little bald right there. Am I looking right here? Do I look a little bald right yes, there? Yes, he does. He does. I'm ignoring that. <laughs> this doesn't feel so bad now. I don't know. Good job. It makes you feel any better. I have a bald spot right here, too. <laughs> no, I have. I'm old. <laughs> So uh, I, I just appreciate y'all spending your time today and uh, us educating people. And um, let's put some links to some of your videos in the chat box here so that yeah. um, people can see them and uh, awesome. experience them, you know, and it'll also be another place to, to, to show your goods. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if someone has a buyer or seller in Auburn, how do they get in touch with you? Yeah. So they can, uh, Obviously, you know, find us on our website, CrawfordWillisGroup.com. Um, our Facebook is Crawford Willis Group. Um, Instagram handles Crawford Willis Group. So we're Simple. going with the Keep same theme. Um, <laughs> but uh, you can email uh, Evan or myself. Uh, Evans is, is just Evan, E-V-A-N, at CrawfordWillisGroup.com. 
Mine is Matt, M-A-T-T, at CrawfordWillisGroup.com. Very simple. And it's, it's, it's all simple. So, cool. I put that, Did I put that in the wrong chat box? I don't know. Um, I don't see anything in this chat box. Oh, all right. Let me see. Gotta, How do you write in this one? We're good at video. We're not good at commenting. <laughs> I don't see a chat box. Uh, Jenny, maybe, can we share the videos with you and you post them on there? Yeah. So I type in it probably, it may go up to the top. Let's see. Yeah. Just send them to me and um, I'll put them in here. Yeah. No, it just popped up. Did Takes it work for you? Second. Yeah. I just put, hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. I don't know why we can't, we, I, don't, I don't see a uh, thing there, but yeah, I'll send them to you. Do you see host chat? Is that a thing you see there or no? Uh-huh. Yeah. There's, is, you see those messages in there? Mm-hmm. I okay. do. Those are some, those are some of them. If that works, I don't know how else to, we're not good at this. You're fine. You just send them to me. I'll make sure that they're out there and uh, anybody else have any questions for Matt and Evan. Um, we're just grateful for their time because uh, they got a lot more real estate to do today, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> and as you're going through your day, um, think about the questions that pop into your mind about the market, about the process. Um, uh, uh, think about how many times that people have asked you the same question today. And there's a video for you. There's a video topic. Some of the patterns that I'm seeing, just to give you some hints, are um, if I don't bring my agent, um, uh, and let you write the offer, then I get 3% off the top, right? That's happening over and over and over and over right now. That's a huge pattern. So there's a great video idea for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, just get out there and start doing it. I mean, it, it, it's not going to be perfect. And, uh, you know, get over yourself and send it out. Like you said, though, Jenny, I mean, if you if you come up with a problem every, every week, if you're if you're practicing real estate, you're going to run into multiple problems a week. So yes. take one of those problems and kind of dissect it a little bit and be like, how can I get this information out to the general public to understand what this is? How can I break this down in a, in kind of a fun, you know, educational way via video. And that's, that's pretty much our entire creative process. It's not much. <laughs> it's pretty much like, what are we running into right now? That's, you know, and, and how can we express it? Uh, yeah. Just jot, if you're out in the field, just, you know, jot it down. If you think of something, you know, in notes on your phone or something like that, just jot it down and, you know, create a file for that. You know, it, you can be just any time of the day, anywhere and something hits your head. You know, I, I say I'm going to remember it, but I never do. So I've got to write it down and just, you know, write it down. And then so you have a bunch of notes that you can look back later and say, oh, that's right. You know, I, I remember that. So let See, me my, create a content. My this. notes, my notepad on my iPhone is scary. It looks like it, people oh. go, is he having a stroke? Because that's yeah. some weird stuff he's got in there. Mine too. <laughs> yeah. I totally feel you. And then Gusty and I, we share Google Docs. So yeah. anytime one of us has an idea, like we, we spent three or four hours yesterday doing video after video after video, putting systems in place for um, all of y'all. And nice. uh, as someone uh, comes on board and, and how to, to welcome and, you know, it's like 30 days worth of stuff. So um, yeah, we, we, we had a blast with that. <laughs> <laughs> but all those ideas, we keep them together and share them, you know, with each other in Google docs. So uh, you can do the same thing or burn up your notes in your phone. Yeah. Um, I mean, just this past week, and again, I want to share just ideas of what's interesting. Um, I closed on a Chad and I, Chad Beasley and I um, co-opted a house together, and this was the first time, and y'all selling like thousands of houses, um, first time I've ever closed a house that had swarming termites on the inside, active termites on the oh inside. Oh, my goodness had to close it and wait 60 days. Like the, the, the buyers are having to wait 60 days. There's a video. I haven't even done one about it yet. I'm, I'm going to do one. Yeah. It's kind of a big deal. Yeah. Definitely, <laughs> definitely video there. <laughs> right, right. I've got one that, and this happens all the time that an old mortgage has popped up um, that was never paid off. And so we need the title insurance to show that it's totally fine. That happens all the time. That's right. a great video. Right. Um, and that my seller could locate the title policy is like a huge deal. Wow. <laughs> Man, way more organized than me. I know, right? <laughs> so, all of these things are just, you know, stuff that happens. Um, we've got a new program called an appraisal waiver that one of our lenders is using. 
that's an excellent video right now yeah. because you can stand out as far as competition. So take right. some of these brilliant ideas that Evan and um, Matt have and look at their videos, see their examples of how much fun they're bringing in, and then just keep you a list of struggles, problems, questions, yeah. and, uh, and then promotions. Yeah. Use, use Facebook Live to um, promote like new listings or a neighborhood. Um, all those things are great ideas. And, and you say that uh, one more thought real quick on videos is probably one of our best like lead producing videos has been uh, it was it was G in the alphabet gone. Uh, we just talked about like houses basically being gone as soon as they're listed. And I mean, shortly after that, we had quite a few people call like sellers call us be like, is it really like that? Like, is the market really gone immediately? Like, can we really sell our house that quickly? It's like, I mean, yeah, currently right now it is. And so that, I mean, that got us a couple of listings just from doing a little short video about joking about how how active the market is, how quick everything's selling. And so I mean, and that was the that was zero dollars. That cost us zero dollars. It was. And there's the key right there. Right. Got several listings from the video. Right. That's right. why you want to do this. Correct. Yes. Thank you. You just like drove it home right here. Right. Man, I knew I could do something. I knew it. <laughs> He was all doubting me and stuff. And I was like, no, nah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Right <laughs> yeah. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. I never hear the end of it. <laughs> I know. I know. Hey, I've, I, I've got some video Don't content. try to drive it home. I just drove it home. Don't try to drive it home. <laughs> no, again. I'm going back to the to, to the termite one. Um, there could have been some great footage in that one. <laughs> you yeah. know, I can see you grabbing a termite because you said swarming termites, grabbing a termite eating it and say, got termites, no problem. <laughs> That's hilarious. I do have pictures of them all over the floor and, you know, not alive, but um, okay. yeah, fun stuff. So I just didn't want to make them feel uncomfortable that I was highlighting that they actually closed a house. With right. Them. But right. Um, <laughs> it, I thought I was a termite expert. I thought I had seen it all. And not, that's not really you never see it all. <laughs> That's the beauty about real estate. You're going to learn something on every single one, no matter how many times you've done it. Right. Correct. Correct. I love it. I love you guys. Thanks for um, lifting us all up and uh, appreciate y'all for, for being examples, shining examples of uh, professionals and fun, real people. <laughs> We're real. Well, we love you too. Thank you so much. He's real. He's real. <laughs> we appreciate it. Um, we really do. We, we always, always love talking to you. Always, you know, we've, we, I feel like, uh, you know, you and Gusty obviously have been uh, a beacon for us to to do everything real estate because because y'all know y'all y'all got it going on and, and understand it all way better than we do. So we yeah. appreciate y'all as always. No, no, you just stay. I'll keep learning from y'all. So <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. Right. Thank you, Jenny. I know you've got twelve more houses to sell this day. Right. Right. <laughs> we hope so. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Thank you.